Hi, I'm Rick and I'm an intern for New Hope. I want to thank you for joining us this Sunday morning for worship. If you're a visitor, please fill out the visitor card in the pew in front of you. And thank you for joining us for worship. The next men's breakfast is on February the 8th. And this month we'll be hearing from Sergio Perez from Hope Now for Youth. He'll tell us about how they pull young people out of a gang lifestyle and help them to trust in Jesus. So join us at 8 a.m. Coffee's hot at 7.30. Hope to see you there. Seniors, as we continue to share the fruit of the Spirit, join us February 11th, 12 to 2, potluck style. Our Wednesday evenings are gearing up again on February the 5th. The kids will be studying fruit of the Spirit for nine weeks, and alongside that we'll have an adult Bible study, which will be about King David, the king after the God's own heart. We'll be looking at the life and lessons of David through different scriptures. So come and join us if you have preschool or elementary age kids for the kids session, or the adult study is open to anybody. Both events start at 7 p.m. and this will run until April 1st. Ladies, our annual women's retreat is coming up soon. The dates this year are April 24th through the 26th. The important news is registration opens tomorrow. You can go online at calvincrest.com and register early to make sure you get the accommodations you would enjoy. This year's special guest speaker is Tiffany Stamen. She's the executive director at Calvin Crest. And as usual, we have all the fun activities and the great food we enjoy. So don't procrastinate, go online tomorrow and register early. So San Francisco made it to the Super Bowl. I know you're very torn about Sunday evening service. We were gonna have it on February the 2nd, but I'm gonna make this choice really easy for you because now we're gonna have it a week later on February the 9th. So come and join us for family worship and communion, and then the second part of 2020 for Jesus. See you on February the 9th, five o'clock in the sanctuary.